Hello my friend and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a casual cosplay for Isabel. I know a lot of people might be burnt out on Isabel. Um, New Horizons kind of blew up and everybody and their moms literally were playing it. But I like Isabel most from New Leaf. I feel like she's more interactive, she has more dialogue, and her outfits are cuter. Nothing against a polo, but I was never like a polo person. Um, I always liked the cardigans and the skirts and the cute little vests and blouse kind of look. So not that there's really much difference in in the look because it, it's supposed to be a casual cosplay. You're supposed to catch the Isabel look regardless. So that's what we're gonna do today. Anything that I use in this video, I will have linked down below. Um, what else? I just did my base off of camera and this is only important because Isabelle is this cute, fluffy little Shih Tzu and some Shih Tzus will have like the appearance of eyebrows and they are very fluffy. So today is definitely a day to do like the fluffy pseudo laminated brows. I tried not to go too, too crazy with how I, cause I usually just stick them all the way up. Um, but I wanted them to actually be fluffy appearing versus like just slicked straight up. Um, what else? I did my concealer and base as normal. I'm just wearing my usual skin tint and I didn't do anything crazy with my concealer, but I did use my most brightening concealer because you really want to open up your eyes. Uh, all of the look is going to be, I guess I say this in every video, because most of the looks is focused in your eye, but you want to make your eyes look bigger because she's this cute little Shih Tzu and they have these cute big eyes. So today, um, it's really important to kind of be familiar with your face shape. What I do to my face may not work for your face. Um, like I try not to take too much bronzer over the top of my forehead really because I already kind of have a smaller forehead so I don't really need to cover up too much. I just put enough color there because my forehead is exposed and you can tell if I bring bronzer here but then don't at least brush it a little bit up in my hairline. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom us in and let's start with this look. Um, I'm not gonna use anything too, too crazy. It doesn't matter what you have. I just have a new bronzer that I wanna try today. Um, so this might be a first impression, maybe. Um, I guess that's bold of me to do a makeup look with a new product. But I've heard nothing but good things about it. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm not gonna super bronze my face. I just want to bring enough color in. I'm I'm more or less using this bronzer to kind of contour my face. Because I really want because I have these higher cheekbones, I really want to bring this part out in my face. I don't want to really cover that up. I want to leave that as exposed as possible. So if you're not familiar with Isabel, um, I know I said this earlier, she is the best secretary in the world and she's this cute little Shih Tzu, but she also has a brother named Digby who is a real, real estate agent. Um, they have like the Sims version of Animal Crossing where you can build and design villagers homes. Um, I have a majority of my amiibo cards because of that game because I wanted to decorate everybody's home. And it was super fun and I kind of, I'm sad that's like not really, the way that you can decorate your house in New Horizons was taken from that uh, happy home designer. But I'm sad you can't like, they didn't bring the otter back. They put Tom Nook and Isabel in the office. I wish it was, what's her name, Audie? I wish it was Audie and I wish it was Isabel in there, that would have been the dream team. Um, Audie's really cute. She has days where she wears makeup and then days where she doesn't. Maybe I'll do, uh, maybe my next casual cosplay will be Audie. She's cute, I like her. I really, this bronzer smells like, like sunscreen, but not in a bad way, just kind of like summer. I think that's pretty good. 
it's not overwhelming. I'm really only smelling it from the container, but it smells nice. Okay. So now that I've chiseled out my face a little bit, what am I gonna do next? I could... Let's continue doing the face, that's fine. So Isabel doesn't really have like too much of a makeup look going on. If you look at this reference photo, she, she's just a dog and I mean, it, you can't really tell when they're wearing makeup and she doesn't have any like crazy distinct features. I think what really makes her her is her yellow fur and her outfits. So I'm not really gonna do too much of like a yellow look. Um, I'm just going to try and capture the big eyes and kind of contour my, my face in a bit to make my eyes look really large and my cheeks just look a little bit fuller because she does have very round cheeks because Shih Tzu's faces are like little heads like this and then like kind of like that, like that's the shape of a Shih Tzu. Um, they're so cute, I love Shih Tzus. And I really wanted to do Isabel because I started my new job and I work in an office and really all of my outfits that I've been wearing to work are just what would Isabel wear? And what would Isabel do, really? Um, even down to like her and New Horizons, how she always has her little drink on her counter, I always have like my coffee or my big water bottle on my desk, um, which is really fun. I want to print out a, a picture of Isabel and laminate it so I can write like when I'm on my lunch, you know, and put it to my door. Um, we'll see how that goes. I do want to take a little bit of it on my nose because I think this is important. I think it's important to do a blush nose for this look because, I mean, you could do the black dot, but... It's casual cosplay, not Halloween makeup. And I mean, if I didn't have to wear masks in my office, I would probably do my makeup like this every day. But then I think, what's the point if I have to wear a mask? I don't, I don't want acne. I'm sure I said that in a previous video. There, that's cute. I really, what a fun blush. That was very easy to use. I didn't really even have to use too, too much to get the look I was going for. I do just kind of want to blend it out a bit, soften it up. Okay, so the eye look isn't going to be too, too complicated. If you have a neutral palette that you like the most, that's probably gonna be the most ideal and perfect for this look. Um, you can reach for the soft glam too, like when I practice this look off camera, I use the soft glam too. But today I'm going to use a different palette and that's only because it has this lighter shade in there. And what I like to do for looks where I need my eyes to look bigger and brighter is that I'll take a lighter shade that's not quite white, but not quite my skin tone, just like a little bit brighter. So I have this like peachy kind of like nude tone and I just press that into my entire upper, like into my entire lid. And I bring it up to like where my crease is. So I'm not really bringing it up be like above my fold. I'm just putting it right on my lid. And I just have, I put enough so you can kind of like have a brightening effect. Cause see right now, like this eye already looks so much more open and awake, right? Than this eye. So you just want to find a tone that's similar to you, but just a little bit brighter. So now that we have that shade in, I'm going to take this like a nudie rose tone And right where my crease is, I'm just gonna brush that shade in. For me and my eye shape, if I have product on my brush, the first spot I want to kind of touch down is right here, kind of like where like the arch of my eyebrow matches. 
because I don't want it too heavy on the outside, but I don't want it too heavy on the inside. I just want a nice middle spot where I can kind of blend that color out. And we're not gonna blend it down per se. We're just gonna blend like, think of like, um, like a U shape. It won't be a perfect U unless you have like really perfectly brown eyes. You just kind of want to follow the shape that you naturally have. So your U might be a little bit more narrow, it might be a little bit wider. I think I have a bit of a wider U. I don't know what's going on outside. I think it's windy because I can see the tree moving in my peripherals. It's really not supposed to be cold until October where I live. But then everyone at work was saying that a storm was coming. So we'll see. And then I'm just using the edge of my brush to kind of flick some of that color out this way. Just to kind of close up that section in my eye. But I don't want to have too much pigment there. Just the illusion. Perfect. Okay. And then... <laughs> I don't know what I want to take for under my eye just yet. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to put on false lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so I have my lashes on. How do you know if you're allergic to like latex glue? Um, I don't have an allergy to latex. Don't ask me how I know that. Uh, but can I have a, an allergy to the glue? Or is like my glue bad or is it just a bad formula? Um, it's probably just bad, I don't know, but I, I swear that I bought this stupid glue like a few months ago. I use the Duo glue, but it's the brush and I use the white one because I like it clear, usually black. <sighs> Lash glue, it always leaves a mess on me, so I, I just don't, I don't even, I just, Anyway, let me tell you about the lashes. Um, I wanted to use big fluffier lashes because I, I, in my mind, I think Isabel is just a fluffy, cute lady. Um, so I wanted to get fluffy, wispy lashes that would match. Um, you don't, de you definitely don't have to go like as dramatic as I did. Um, I mean, I don't find these dramatic, but I've had people tell me, oh my gosh, your eyelashes are like, so impressive and so pretty like how do you wear those to work and i'm just like oh these are like my everyday lashes why wouldn't i wear these to work um okay and i don't know like this glue is also making me mad because i had to redo it twice like it's not sticking i'm gonna try a different glue i'm gonna try and find a latex free glue and see if i get better results and this is the fun part because i'm going to take a lighter shade in my waterline but i'm not going to take a white um i always feel like white is very obvious when you use it i'm taking this is from the bambi collection but i think it's just like this off white which is fitting because isabel does have more of like a yellow color scheme not that this is really yellow, again, it's just an off-white, but it is more yellow leaning. Or at least it looks like that in the packaging, because the packaging is a bit yellow. And I'm just doing enough to just follow the shape of my eye. Like, I just follow my waterline, I don't do anything crazy. <laughs> And then I'm gonna just add mascara to my bottom lashes just to bring them out a bit. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I just want enough product to pull out my lashes and have a little bit of tone. I might have went too heavy right here. Oops. It's okay. I'll live. I hope that was in frame because I have a feeling it might not have been. I think it's just time for the lips. Okay, so I'm just going to take a very nude, like my lip, but better tone because Isabel doesn't really have any um, 
lips like she has like these cute little little dog nintendo mouth um and it's just a black line so for me having just a nude that doesn't mean you can't make it look good um i just want to use a lip liner that's my lip tone but better and i am going to line it to look a bit more pouty here i'm gonna use it right here i'm not gonna overline my lip too much but i do want it to look a bit more pouty So I always start like with the center of my lip and make a little nub that's just like a little bit darker. Like when I look straight ahead, you can kind of see it's almost like a weird spot on my mouth. And then I just flick to the outer corners of my mouth. And then right in the center, I just kind of make another U shape. And then flick down. I'll fill in like the outer corners or the outer sections and then I like I said I'm just taking a very nude color Lips are the awkward part to film because you can't really, I can't really talk and touch my lips at the same time. And then I just, I'm just going to blot it so it doesn't, so the product just doesn't clump on my lips in weird ways. There we go. Okay. So then let's zoom out and complete our look. Okay, so now that we have our makeup look done, it's really just doing the hair. And I kind of cheated and did my hair before I got on camera. Um, let me walk you through it because I need to get a haircut I'm so bad. Like these aren't even curtain bangs anymore. They're just long pieces. Um, so if you look at Isabel's hair, She's got these cute little bangs right in the front and she has this little bun at the top with little bells. I wish I had like a little set of bells that I could put with my scrunchie. And she has her cute little ears. Because this is a casual cosplay, I wanted more of like a, a humanoid versus like a furry look. Um, I do see tons of cosplay where, you know, girls have like the ears and the bun um, and they're like, they do like pigtails and a bun on top. I, I look at it like this. Isabel's ears are her ears, and so she's just wearing a bun on the top of her head. The, my ears are my ears, so I'm just going to wear a bun on the top of my head. Um, I did use a scrunchie that has a bit of texture in it to kind of offset my sweater. I thought it was a good combo. Um, you can definitely use like a red ribbon. But I mean, if you're not trying to be like a complete 100% cosplay look, just an inspired look, a very casual cosplay, wearing like a green sweater and having a nice scrunchie is perfect. Um, I, <laughs> if I had a haircut, um, I would have thicker kind of more like curtain bangs. Like I wouldn't have Isabel's exact like fluffy bangs that kind of came here. I'd kind of have more of like the Lana Del Rey bangs. That's what these were at one point, but now they're so long. Like, look at these ones. And why are they uneven is what I'm discovering. I went to a new hairdresser be last time I got a haircut because I had just moved into the area. Um, wish me luck trying to find a hairdresser. Anyway, and even my hair is so long, like doing this bun took me a lot longer than I thought it would. 
but and then that's it um you can wear like a blue skirt or blue pants um not like a blue jean like a blue denim i mean i guess you could but i'm thinking more of just like um i have a work skirt that's just like the perfect like navy blue and i would wear it with a sweater and like this is how i'm going to go to work but i think this is a really cute look and i think this is like, like ideally what isabel would look like as a working business lady um so let me know in the comments down below, is there another Animal Crossing character that you would like to see? Should I pull out like a Tom Nook look? Oh, I would love to. Um, could I do that? Would, I, would it just be me smearing like eye products around my eyes? Um, who knows? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, what's an Animal Crossing character that you would like to see another casual cosplay of? Which Isabel do you like more, New Leaf, New Horizon, or do you just not care for her at all? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.